for a lot of very heavy drinkers, there is a particular issue um, with dopamine receptors in the brain. So that basically boils down to the ability to feel pleasure and reward. Mm -hmm. And that this genetic issue runs through addicted families, runs through the entire extended family. And it manifests not just as problems with alcohol, but also perhaps um, compulsive overeating or gambling or ADHD. And to make a very long story short, what he's discovered is that as, as we've all been taught, addiction is about um, needing to fire dopamine in the pleasure center of the brain. But what he discovered is that all the neurotransmitters play a part in this. GABA, serotonin, the endorphins, some others as well, um, including dopamine, and therefore genetic issues in the production and firing of any of those pathways will impact the firing of dopamine in the pleasure center, thus leading us falling short in life, like wanting a little more, needing a little more, not behaving the way society and we want us to be because conduct disorder and ADHD is part of this. And so what he, he, he's actually identified 10 very specific SNPs or genetic polymorphisms that drive this. And he finds that if, if somebody has an issue in any of these, they're going to have problems ultimately firing in the nuclear incumbents and and therefore craving something. So this brain that's lacking this, once it finds the drug of choice that opens that blocked pathway, it's like, ah, my brain's working. I feel good. Ooh, I feel normal. I want more. I want to feel normal more often, right? We all do. We want to feel good more often. And so then we get on the addictive spiral and off we're spiraling. <laughs> 